Today we are making a video on Mobox Linux 23.04. Uh, this edit, that's the sound from the uh, Mobox Linux, Linux distro, that's not from my PC. So here is the boot menu of a Mobox Linux 23.04. It was released like uh, two to three days uh, before. So here is the boot menu. And again, it's going to take a maximum of uh, one minute or a minimum of 30 to 40 seconds to load up the desktop layout. And I'm running it on as a virtualization, which is a VMware with 80 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and with a two processors. So this is a live boot. It's always a good option to boot it in a live boot because if you find any bugs or uh, errors, you should be safe from the ruining your PC. So that's a tip from me. It's always a good idea to live boot first. And if you're satisfied, use it for like a two to three hours. If you're satisfied without a bugs and errors, go with the installation. So that's going to save your PC. So I don't want you to ruin your PC. That's the reason I'm saying it again and again. So I already posted a video. If you want to check that out, you can check that out because I'll be posting two videos daily. So watch this video completely and go with the another video. I already posted another content. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out, which is uh, for another Linux distro. So again, it's going to take a few more seconds to load up uh, the Linux distro and you should be seeing a desktop layout or the welcome screen completely loaded. As you can see, there is a mouse pointer here. You should be seeing a mouse pointer with a highlighter because I set it up in my uh, recordings or my recording software and here is the welcome screen or the desktop layout completely loaded let's quickly change the display resolution because it's uh, it is looking pretty odd and uh, as you can see here, there is a, a lag or a freeze or a stuck of the wallpaper here let's quickly change that by clicking on the left panel and uh, change the wallpaper as a random wallpaper and as you can see there is completely fixed right now so let's uh, go to left panel and let's try to change the uh, some of the information like uh, let's change it uh, later first let's open the system monitor because we need to see how much resources are uh, consuming right now before and uh, i'm going to show the system monitor again at the end of the video so you should be having an idea and you should be uh, you can judge on your own to use this Linux distro or not. Right now CPU is almost going crazy as you can see it's almost uh, 60% and the RAM is almost uh, 1 GB. So remember these things because I'm going to open these things system monitor again at the end of the video. So you should be having an idea of uh, how much uh, resources are consuming. So this is the information. Let's open the terminal. To get uh, to get uh, some of the distro information like uh, for example neofetch here is the neofetch let's type in another command which is inxi-sv8 this is the command which will grab complete distro information so let's scroll it upside system under system host it's a mobox linux kernel version is a 6.1.25-1 it is based on a manjaro linux so it uh, says manjaro and it's a 64-bit architecture compiler gcc version is a 12.2.1 and desktop is a xfce and a wm open box version 3.6.1 light dm version is a 1.32.0 and distro is a manjaro linux and it's based on a arch linux so I'm running it on a VMware so it says as a machine as a VMware BIOS Phenox version is a 6.00 and here is the RAM which is almost a 1.4 GB of a 4 GB of RAM here is my CPU information if you want check that out so let's scroll it down under graphics VMWGFX version is a 2.20.0 and it's a virtual displays are x11 Server is a XORG version 21.1.8. Compositor PCOM version Git is here. So these are all the monitor resolutions and display resolutions available. API OpenGL and uh, Jack version is a 1.9.22. Uh, 
and ELSA version is uh, here Pulse Audio version is uh, 16.1 let's scroll it down uh, process running right now are 261 and uptime is a uh, 3 minutes wake ups are 39 init system D version is a uh, 252 and uh, some of the information like compiler GCC already mentioned shell bash version is a uh, 5.1.16 terminator which is a terminal inxi version is a 3.3.26 so let's type in another command which will give the same information as the above but in a short form let's type in another command let's type in another command let's type in cat etc forum slash issue so here is the username and the password so let's type in htop stop is not available we have a btop plus plus so let's open that thing which is here so here is some of the information if you want to go through this you can go to it let's uh, quickly scroll it down so here is complete information so let me close this thing so let me open the uh, internet web browser So there is also a lot of uh, web browsers here. The default web browser for the Mobox Linux is a Firefox and almost every Linux distro will be having a Firefox as the default web browser. The version is the latest which is a 3.1.3.1.2. So let's close this thing and this is the official URL or the official website which is a moboxlinux.org. So if you want you can see the version here which is a February SO if you want the latest version let's go to the latest version which is uh, go to the downloads or you can go to the repositories if you want and here are the ISO file go to the ISO And here is the latest version which is a uh, Mobox Linux 23.04 Istred and ISO file. So as you can see there is a uh, two ISO file. This is a Linux kernel 5.4 and the Linux kernel 6.1. So that's the difference between 54 and 61. So we want the latest ISO file. I'm using a VPN so it's uh, pretty slow for me. So you need to check this out uh, while downloading what the file is uh, what the file you are downloading so that's the official website and that's the downloading process let me close this thing and let me show you the installation process by launching the installer so again this is the same installation step in every linux distro there is nothing complicated or nothing change here so the calamaras installer is a 3.2.61-11 for Mobox Linux is trade 23.04 first you need to choose the language there are plenty of languages available click on next choose your location I'm using a VPN so it's uh, showing Singapore uh, you can choose the location like this or you can choose the drop down menu you don't need to provide the actual location you can give any location you want here are some of the customization if you want click on next uh, you need to choose your keyboard it automatically gives the automatic key keyboard for you uh, i'm choosing the english united states if you want to test your keyboard you can test it by typing here click on next and here is the partition and the important thing you need to be careful while choosing this because it's going to delete the current operating system and install the mobox linux as a single boot or the current operating system so first you need to choose your hard disk or a destination of a installer installation destination here uh, choose the options on your own you need to be having an idea or you need to be very careful of what you're doing here i am choosing the rs disk because i want to boot it in a single boot i am using it in a vmware so nothing going to happen so these are the other options to choose so if you choose manual uh, partitioning you should be choosing like a dual operating system option uh, you can resize your partition and you should be having an uh, option like a dual operating systems or a dual boot option 
so i'm going to choose erase disk if you want to encrypt just provide the password which should be same in the both boxes and the bootloader location uh, this is the default option and this is the best option for me uh, you can choose it other options if you want to uh, do that later you can customize it on your own so i'm going to choose the default option click on next you need to provide your username and password give the strong password and uh, you can give the username uh, anything you want you don't need to provide your username actual username user uh, name uh, i'm choosing for the sake of the video i'm choosing the simple password give the strong password and if you want to change the administrator password uh, different you can choose it or keep the same password as the above one if everything is good you should be seeing a tick mark beside the boxes so that means you are good to go click on next here is the summary of what you choose in the previous uh, steps of the installation and this is the option or this is the summary of the uh, what will happen after you click on install so after clicking on install it's going to take a few seconds uh, not few seconds it's going to take uh, minutes like uh, 20 minutes a maximum if you have a low end pc if you have a good end pc or a mid end pc you should be taking like a uh, five to eight minutes depends on your pc depends on the linux resources or the linux distros so it's completely depends on the you uh, you can properly say uh, how much time exactly it takes so it completely depends on your pc and the linux distro after the installation process it's going to say finish and you need to be rebooting your system and the mobox linux uh, 23.04 will be installed on your uh, installation destination what you choose there so again i'm going to say it again even it's annoying uh, always boot it in a live boot first use it for up to two to three hours good and if you didn't find any bugs and errors you can go with the installation so that's a tip from me because I'm going, I don't want you to ruin your PC. That's the reason I'm going to say it again and again. So that is the only reason. It's even it's annoying. I'm sorry. Uh, that's just a helpful tip. So that's the installation process. Let's uh, exit this thing. So here are the resources going on. Uh, you can see here. So here is the shortcuts or a keyboard shortcuts. Uh, if you want to go through all these things, you can go through this. So on the right panel, you have everything, almost everything as you can see updates of system hardware every information is here here is the system information here is the pacman and here is also a customization options like a wallpaper colorize everything you want you can choose it about the pacman here is the pacman Let's check the installed version. Instead of uh, opening every app, let me show you here the versions of installed uh, applications. Let me quickly scroll it down. If you want to slow it down, you can slow it down in the YouTube setting uh, and the playback speed. Change the playback speed to 0 0.25 from 0, uh, 1. You should be seeing the video in a slow-mo of every installed app version. So these are all the installed versions. So let's check out the updates now let's see how much of updates are available in the latest version of uh, mobox linux you can customize even the themes palette system information menu and panel let me customize that as you can see the color is changed menu and panel again the color is changed updates are up to date so no need to worry he, if you download the latest version you should be having uh, all the updates so i think we covered everything i guess so you can select the wallpaper you can randomly choose the wallpapers there are plenty of wallpapers here let's choose this wallpaper it's a i think it's a fox i guess that's a pretty cute fox so let's check out the pacman version 1.3.2 let's close it i think we covered everything so i think no need to check out other things let's just open some of the apps by right clicking let's go to the and these are all the pre-installed apps as you can see let me go through all these things 
graphics, multimedia, internet, settings, system. So these are all the things. So I think we covered everything so no need to show everything because uh, there is nothing much changed. So let's check out some of the desktop features and end the video. So that's it for the video. Again, I already posted a video uh, because I'll be posting two videos daily. Uh, the other content is already available in the YouTube. If you want to check that out, you can check that out after watching this video. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.